Good morning everyone. I'm one of your presenter for today and I am Fatima Manyala from BEd 3A studying at Turlock State University. And my topic is advantages for learners. And here are my objectives. At the end of the lesson, the student should be able to identify the advantages of learners in multi-grade class, value the advantages of the learners, make a reflection paper about the advantages of learners in multi-grade class. The first advantage of learners is maximum social interaction between or among peers. Since ang multi-grade class ay kombinasyon ng two or more grade levels, social interactions are really possible as they can go collaborate and learn from each other. So natututo sila sa isa't isa. And it also allows them to build a strong relationship. Hindi lang bilang magkaklase or magka-schoolmate, but also as a friends and brothers or sisters. Another advantage, cooperative learning is predominant. This is due to the group activities given by the teacher. Meaning, sa mga ganitong sitwasyon, nangingibabaw sa kanila yung cooperation. Gaya ng pagsishare nila ng ideas, experiences, o yung perspective nila tungkol sa lesson or activity na ginagawa nila. Another advantage is they will learn to be independent, self-directed learners, and can learn to be more resourceful. So, in multi-grade classes, they are trained to be independent and self-directed through their individual tasks given by the teacher. So, in this, they can practice critical thinking in analyzing and doing their assigned, assigned tasks by their own. As well as yung pagiging resourceful. Especially in seeking for additional learning materials by their own via books or internet. So since nga ang mga teacher ngayon ay hindi na gaya dati na spoon feed, feeder at nagiging facilitators na lang sila. So, this is the reason na dapat yung mga estudyante ay hindi na dependent sa mga teachers. The fourth advantage is prepared for real-life situations where there is constant interaction between people of different ages, varied skills, and abilities. So, since exposed nga sila sa mga estudyante gaya nila na iba ang edad, iba yung pag-iisip, at skills and abilities. Hinahasa na sila pagdating sa realidad in the sense that they can acquire advanced learning or experiences with their other older classmates. So in this, they are being prepared to adapt and cope up with real life challenges, and situations. Next is learners can learn to assume leading or supporting role as needed in different work situations. So dito, natitrain yung mga learners as leaders or facilitators sa kanilang klase through the guidance of their teacher. Gaya ng pag-assign nila ng task sa mga estudyante sa paglilid sa isang group activity or in maintaining discipline inside the classroom. Next is stigma associated with failure and repetition is removed. Since mas madaming chance na matuto sila at sa isa't isa at magtulungan sila, yung stigma of failure and repetition, so nawawala na yon Hindi na nila na iisip na, ay, babagsak ako, ganun. Ay, uulit ako sa subject na to, ganun. Kasi nga, mas ano sa kanila yung natututo sila sa isa't isa. Another, 
girls who are often expected to stay home or at least close to home to take care of their younger siblings or the household will have more chances to go to school since schools are located within the community. So, advantage ito para sa mga learners sa multi-grade teaching, lalo na sa mga remote areas, dahil mas malapit na sa kanila yung education. So, may chance na yung mga batang babae doon na makapag-aral. And lastly, multi-grade students can attain higher achievement levels, especially in math, science, and language. So, since multi-grade classes in communities are designed with a small quantity of learners, so, mabibigay ng teachers yung quality education dahil mas maraming time na matuturuan nila yung mga student nila at limitado lang yung mga students na tinuturuan nila. And since multi-grade class is combination of two or more grade levels, uh, mas maraming natututunan ang bata kasi may mga advanced knowledge sila na nakukuha sa mga older classmates nila. That's all for my report. Here's my reference. Thank you for listening and God bless!